Hey guys, this is Ikeva and I am back with another solo run on the Solar Bowl Beast Tower. And this time round we'll be challenging the Water Tower with the all new Soul uh, Dual Blades. So, it just released today of this video and I managed to roll one on my first roll. And I'll be using a sort of a budget set with the Thundering Blossom King Dual Blades set. Uh, they are not perfect root but I I managed to get get at least two of the green abilities on each and then we have the soul door blades so right here you can see I'm using Jupiter's Descent uh, Plume Revive and Thundering Hysteria uh, if I have the Thunderclaw I'll definitely be using it but unfortunately I don't so I'll be going for a Paralyzed build but in this case Neurotoxin will be much better however I like the attack speed it's up to my personal uh, it's up to your personal preference but for me i prefer the extra attack speed to like sort of attack faster and throw more it it's, it's really fun to have more attack speed so let's try out the budget set of the soul door blades all right so uh, i won't be going so in depth onto the soul door blades mechanics that will be covered in another video but for this video i'll just go through some basics of what you need to know and how you can utilize it especially during this uh, tower run so i'm starting off with the wicked period of um, okay so as you can see i got hit and my soul gauge sort of reduced uh, by one bar every time you get hit with the soul doublets you reduce your so gauge by a bar so the main uh, focus as a solder blade is to stay away far and always avoid getting hit and since you'll be hitting from a safe range and dodging here and there code edges will be well code edges is not even useful i guess all you need is either neurotoxin or even better thundercloak because it'll increase your elemental damage by 200 percent which is a lot and I regret not summoning the Thundercloak series. Uh, I did summon that banner but I didn't manage to get Thundercloak so I kind of regret not going all out on it and I got hit, I got eaten right there. Okay. So um, another thing to note is that you should always keep on hitting your behave enemies with your soul door blades else your soul gauge will slowly go down as you can see here it's going down because it enter rage mode and I can't do it so yeah and just getting my lightning damage up from the Jupiter descent bar and yeah I really love the attack speed but sadly it's only 20% I, I think if I remember correctly but yeah it's still fast enough and oops I got hit right there again I, I sort of keep forgetting that this fish, whenever he touches you, uh, he, will, he will deal minor damage. So yeah. And there we go, the final Hyper Beam. Or Kamehameha. Yeah. Oops, I should not have healed that. Did not make it in time, but... Yeah, that's, that's a good run. Uh, I managed to paralyze the fish and fatigue him a lot, which is really good. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm really loving the Paralyzed build for this Soto Blitz. And now I'm starting off with Jupiter's and then quickly using my Thundering Hysteria for this speed to charge up my Soul Gauge. So uh, as I was saying, I really love the Paralyzed build on this Soto Blitz because your beams, is a, it can also apply the Paralyzed effect. So yeah, it's really really good to combo with it. And look at it, Akra can't even do anything, I'm just paralyzing him until he goes into rage mode and then just... But then his tentacles, well most of his tentacles is already cut off and he can't really reach me, yeah, see? And just feeling him and... Oh yeah, I cancelled his... Uh... For Soda Blitz to cancel uh, the Dole Blitz SP rig, you gotta like... Beam it, I think. I tried rolling and attack but didn't seem to work. I think I might have missed or it's really only using the beam. 
But even if you do not have a soul gauge uh, charge, you all you need to do is just hold it for a while, let go, it release a small beam which also cancels the SP weak up in it. So yeah. And look at this, I'm just flinging so fast. Mm, oh my god. Okay. That's that's one part one bad part about the solar blades. You cannot change your direction nor can you move. So I'm just quite vulnerable right there. But yeah. It's really a fun weapon to use if you ask me. Yeah, look at the cheap flying damage. Oh and these blocks are annoying, I can't throw through it. But yeah. But my beam can shoot through it, so yeah. That's that's a good thing. And let me just hear up here. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I should. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, Alright, let me just. Okay, I should have maintained a safe distance. That was my bad. Okay, just. Yeah. Oops. Okay, I do not know why I did not dodge on that. Yeah. I sh so the base is really fun, but as you can see, all I do is to tap 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 so your finger might get tiring, but it's really fun. Even with just one weapon, I can still combine it with the either Pandemonium or the Thundering Blossom King. It's really really fun to use weapon. So if you get it, quickly try it out. It's yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna paralyze him again. Yeah, look at that. And get my buff up. Hmm. I'm just tapping away. <laughs> and charge it. Ooh, look at it. See, he's just paralyzed again, and then he has no choice but to go to rich mode. Ah, okay. I think that was too late for me to use it. I should not have used it right there. But yeah, it's it's really fun to paralyze. Just keep on paralyzing him and then take your turn take your time to charge up the soul gauge, then release. Then they go straight into the rage mode. Okay. And another fatigue and oh yeah. Feels good man. That was an easy run. Just paralyze. Charge beam. Paralyze, beam again, rich mode, uh, and just charge and beam until it dies. And by then, your mega should charge up for the next floor. And final run, Aragami. Uh, I'm just uh, yeah, I'm just gonna paralyze him here. Uh, Jupiter's descent is a guaranteed paralyze on your first usage on him if all hits. So. Magic count Mega Counter come at me. You'll be paralyzed and you can't do anything anyways. Yeah. Alright, okay, that was a weird auto in. Why did he shoot through the ground? And look at that. That's fatigue again. And then paralyze again. Oh yeah. So good. And then I'm just gonna beam again. He can't even stand a chance against me, man. And let me just charge up my attack speed bar. I think I'm just gonna Okay, so he didn't counter. I think it's because he already has the bar. Yeah, yeah I'm just waiting away. Oh wait he doesn't. Okay. I thought normally it would on Oh wait, yeah, I removed the I forgot I broke his part on the main guy counter and yeah. See Tada It was easy. There's an epic run. I just paralyzed all day, fatigue all day. It's an awesome egg. Uh, weapon, I really really, I think I'm gonna dig this weapon a lot, like maybe even more than Nura's Sword and Claw, but depending on the situation. And yeah, that's a really fun run. I hope y'all, uh, for those that got this weapon, can also enjoy this a lot. And I guess that's it, that's the end of this uh, basic coverage on the Soda Blade. I'll go more in depth in my video next week, most likely. So. It'll be good for new and old players alike while I try to practice more of this weapon. So, see you around. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.